Welcome to a very special episode of Inside the Kennel. You asked for it, so we're going to go inside the home of none other than everyone's favourite nonna, it's Mrs Liberatore. Now, she's expressed some really strong opinions over the past week, and she's dying to tell her story. So, Dougie and Paul have sent me over to her home. Let's go. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are here in the home of Mrs Liberatore. It's the Casa Liberatore. Buongiorno. Buongiorno, signore. Oh, bene grazie. I am so happy to be here and to meet you today. I want to ask you, so it was a long time ago, but what was Tony like when he was a boy? He's such a strong, amazing player. He's a strong boy. His father was strong, big man. But the, the best thing, my husband, to keep the family always good neck, you know. Whatever they want to do, they have to ask, you know. But my husband, after 80 years, is gone. And, you know, I, he gave me the power to do, but what can I do? The boy had a well done. They do sport. The twins' brother is a wrestler, you know. And if I show you the picture now, Sure. Yeah. So you'd like to show me a picture of Fred because he was a wrestler too. <laughs> okay. Because he can be your friend. <laughs> yes. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Fantastic. Fred. And have a look at... So everywhere we look in this uh, amazing house, there are pictures of Tony and the boys everywhere. There's the Brownlow medal in 1990. You must be so proud... I try, but when I hear this stuff, believe me, they put on me there. Yes. The last minute, they take off Thomas, and who they put? Toby Green. Toby Green. Don't get me started on Toby Green. So, Mrs. Liberatore, I have to ask you, what did you have a special diet for your boys growing up? Because they're so strong. What What did they eat? No, I am a good cooker. I imagine so. Yeah. And uh, minestrone, spaghetti, soup, they are, they are in order. If they pass, I still am here for them. Yes. I love my family. Yes, I can see that. And, and um, tell me a little bit about Thomas. So is, was, is Thomas very similar to Fred and Tony? But it's more clever. Oh, okay. Much more alert, you know. He was, uh, what can you say? You know, when he, they told me he's not in the squad, he goes, ah, what? Why they pull me off of him? You know? But Bondenbell is a good boy. He defended him, Thomas. He talked very high about him because he realized it's true. Why, when he don't play, <laughs> they don't win? It's true. We, we lost a few games this year when Thomas wasn't playing, so we, we absolutely need that man. What do you think mm -hmm. about your grandson, Thomas, not being in the All-Australian squad? I am very upset, love. I am really upset. My family belonged to years, years ago, when Tony won the Brown, when Thomas tried to win the grand final. He put on there, this is for you, Nena. You told me all the time, be positive, because you can be good. Thomas helped for the grand final. And now, can you imagine, the other night, I wait until later to know about the club, what they do with the, the group who call for the <laughs> squad. Yeah, all Australian squad. All Australian club. Then, you know what happened? They put on the name Thomas, two weeks before, and they tell, he deserves, uh, and we put on Thomas, Bondembelli and English. You know what happened? 
in the last minute. I see Thomas is not there. I was so upset, so upset. Thomas had a good year. And this family belonged to the dog. Because Tony won the brown. Thomas helped for grand final. In the end, they, I think they don't know what they're talking about. We agree. So what is your message to the AFL? Can you look at this camera and give a message, please? You know, believe me, I am 93, 94 ne next um, year. But I was so upset. I think, what are they talking about? I think they don't put on the right people. They don't know what they talk about. Absolutely. And to what do you think of Toby Green? Toby Green is the... Toby the... Green has to be careful. Uh -huh. Because the way he put on the, the playa down, you never know, maybe he can be strangled somebody. Be very clever. This one won't be somebody, but not like that. Football is different. Because before was football, now they try to strangle people. Toby Green has to be careful one day what, what happened to him. Thank you. Don't mess with Nonna. Tony, Toby, if, uh, if that happens again... It's look. like a little devil, you know, they put on there. Yeah. What does this mean? This means <laughs> they don't know what they talk about. <laughs> Why they talk about to see the last minute? Liberator is the one left to go. Thomas had good years, and you see in the brown medal, he can have a few votes. We hope okay? so. No, I think so. You don't have to take off what the Thomas do over there. He loves his friend. He loves his club. He wants to be there. He don't want to go nowhere. Eh? It's... What can I tell you? No, I was upset, believe me. No. They don't know what they talk about anyway. Oh, well, I can see how proud you are of, of not only your sons, but your grandson. And every Bulldog supporter watching this, Mrs Libertore, believes and, and supports your opinion. This family is full of life for the bulldog. I gr grow up. I, I go there, make me happy. You know, Neo, Fred, Thomas, after Oliver, maybe. You never know. Yes, absolutely. When, can you remember when you first arrived at Footscray? Do you, was it a friendly place to visit? Oh, Tom, Tony was the one when the club was supposed to yes. go down. Yes. Tony was the one to win the, the medal. Yes, he the won the brown low straight after the merger. That's your right. Um, I have to ask you, many people ask this question. Who do you think is the best Liberatore footballer ever? Is it Tony or Tom? <laughs> it's a hard question. Tony. <laughs> Tony, he can do everything with strength. Yes. Thomas is much more wise. Uh, more, you know. It's what Tony said to his son. Tony is very protect about Tony, Thomas. And he loved this little boy, Thomas said. Yeah, they are very strong-minded. Uh, do, do they take after you? <laughs> it, it has to be. <laughs> so can I ask, what's your secret? What's the secret to being a strong woman, an amazing young woman, um, and to raise a family like you have? I have 13 grandchildren and 10 great, great grandchildren because my age. <laughs> amazing. You see... Family, family, 
and now I look around, no, nobody family, no family. I hope God heal the young people because, you know, the life is not easy now. It's what I say. Well, everyone who um, knows your family loves your family. And you are so popular for a reason. So you're a part of the Bulldog family. Oh. <laughs> Always. Always. We stop there, we don't go nowhere. Mm. The Liberatore name will if always... If you ask Gordon... Yes. How many times I go there? Yes. Ask Gordon. Peter Gordon. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes, Sometime yes. Sometimes I chalk him my death I say, what do you think we win tonight? <laughs> no worry, we win. <laughs> Oh, I love it. So will there be a great-grandson that, that, or a great-granddaughter that becomes a daughter or son of the West and plays for Footscray again? Oh, now I expect for Oliver. <laughs> well, <laughs> who knows the life of what to bring. Now, when will the Bulldogs win the next grand final? Everybody wants to know this answer. Bondem Valley is still young. He's bulk. He's, you know... But he's a good boy because the way he defended Thomas. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Have you met Marcus Bontempelli? I meet once. I tell him to die is good weather because Bon Tempo. <laughs> what does that mean? Bon Tempo means don't rain. Good weather. Ah. That means uh, what means Bon Tempelli in Italy. Good weather. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. Well, I wish good weather on you, Mrs. Liberatore, because you're a wonderful woman and I am so grateful to come in here into your casa today and to hear your story. Um, and I hope that everyone listening supports your view and the AFL hears you. I have you. 400 people in the box there. They answer me. I must tell thank you to help me in the video I do, in the Facebook. Thank you so much. Yes. Well, Bulldog supporters, if you're listening to this, please tell us what you think. Uh, Mrs Liberatore will love to read your comments. Um, and most importantly, all the best to you. Um, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Go Bulldogs. Go. <laughs> Go Bulldogs. Well, thank you again for your time today. I'm so proud and honoured to meet you. Thank you.